Aunt Betty. America Ferrara, lovely to meet you. Thank you. Um, you're very pretty in real life. And uh, on the show, you play Ugly Betty. I mean, that's every woman's nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> How do you feel about that? No, I mean, I think as an actor, what I love about my job is that I get to be other characters, that I get to, you know, be inside someone else's skin and their world and their mind. And, um, you know, I, I can put myself out there as that character, and it doesn't really have to be a representation of me personally. I need to know that you know what you're wearing. You've won a Golden Globe, an Emmy, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and you're barely 25. I mean, aside from the fact that you make me look old and unsuccessful, <laughs> um, does it still feel like a dream, or are you over the whole thing, or what is it like? I mean, I feel grateful every single day for my situation, my, the opportunities that I've had, and, and this amazing show that I get to be a part of. Um, but, you know, we also work really hard, so... There's, there's the real side to it, too, you know? But all of that stuff is really wonderful, but the majority of what we do is just work really hard. And I love what I do, so I'm very thankful for it. You know, that's great. I think everybody should be, always be grateful and thankful for everything they have. <laughs> um, you had your heart set on becoming a performer from a very young age. What was the spark and what kept you driven? Um, what was my spark? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I was, I feel like I was doing it from before I could even remember. I would be probably four or five years old memorizing commercial jingles and singing them to the family at Thanksgiving or whatever. <laughs> so I was performing before I even knew what I was doing. Maybe it came from being the youngest of six kids and begging for attention. I don't know. <laughs> but when I was 10 years old, I watched, um, I watched a the TV movie, the TV version of Gypsy that was made with Bette Midler. And I remember I watched that VHS maybe a hundred times one summer and I remembered every word and every, every line and, and it was, uh, I just wanted to be Bette Midler more than anything. <laughs> so so um, that, when I think back of something that like, you know, that was the moment for me. I think when I saw Bette Midler and her energy and her performance, I thought, God, there's nothing else I can do. I have to do this. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what kind of shows do you watch at home when you're relaxing? And um, I like watching American Idol. <laughs> I, um, and I watch lots and lots of movies. I love watching movies. And there are a lot of shows on TV that I love, too. I love The Office. and. I love, um, I like, I love HGTV. I watch so much, um, you know, home improvement shows and Animal Planet and the National Geographic Channel. <laughs> wow, I'm sure your house is impeccable. <laughs> My house? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, Betty. A cute-ish boy is here to see you. Is he the one you're trying to sleep with to get over the other one? Um, I'm right here. I know. Have you been to the Middle East before? I've never been to the Middle East. Would you like to come? I would love to go to the Middle East. My best friend is from the Middle East. Oh, really? We'd yeah. love to have you in Dubai. That and would be wonderful. That's where I'm from. And I host a weekly show called Show Me More. And I want to ask you, what do you want more of in your personal life or in your career? I just wish there were more hours in the day. That would make it easier to, to work really hard and then do everything, you know, see everyone I love. and spend personal time. I guess more hours in the day, but I guess that's the one thing we can never have, right? How can you describe your show in three words? Hmm. Okay. Well, this is only two words. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, no, this is three words. A lot of fun. Oh, perfect. <laughs> America, thank you so much. Thank you You're so, welcome. so much. It's a pleasure thank meeting you. you. Nice to meet you. In life, you have to make choices. You can't have it all. Well, I don't know if I believe that. I... You are young, Betty. But you are a career girl just like me. You'll see.